So an important issue is how would we know that she has ITP? We've alluded to the idea that she has no findings consistent with another diagnosis. We don't know exactly how high her platelets went with the steroids in this case. If they had gone up substantially, that would argue in favor of ITP because she would have responded to treatment. This would be particularly true if she had received, for example, IV gamma globulin and if the platelets had gone up very rapidly, for example, within two or three or four or five days. If the platelet increase took weeks, it would be distinctly unlikely but not impossible that this was a case of leukemia. If there were any reasons to consider leukemia, perhaps the way the smear looked or a slight leukopenia or something else, it might be important to do bone marrow, aspirate, and or biopsy to make sure that this is not the case. The fact that she is followed up, gets two courses of prednisone, which she tapers off and discontinues, and does not have any progression, does not develop hepatosplenomegaly or lymphadenopathy, does not develop anemia or abnormal white count, et cetera, argues strongly that this is ITP and not leukemia or some other diagnosis. However, um, that still does not mean that everything will automatically be okay. We know that she may persist and have chronic ITP. It could be more severe as opposed to less severe. She could develop another medical problem or have trauma or something like that um, that would make her at higher risk with a low platelet count. She could um, develop other autoimmune disease, especially thyroid disease, but also lupus erythematosus. Um, she also could have her life complicated either by development of fatigue associated with the thrombocytopenia, or she could have it complicated by becoming iron deficient if her menses get heavy, or since she takes occasional ibuprofen, we don't know if that's for headaches or for joint pains, but since she can no longer take that, other treatments of that may be less effective and therefore her quality of life may decrease somewhat as a result.